guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating two spreads for two of my patrons on Patreon. If you would like to see what they picked and what I create for them, keep watching. All right, here we go. So this first spread is for Cindy and Cindy requested a really cool theme. She wanted a spread that was April showers bring May flowers for the last week in April. I thought that was really cute and I've never done a spread like that. So I'm up for the challenge. Um, I decided to use these two sticker books. I might change my mind on this one, definitely using this one. And I thought what I would do, and I know, okay, so by the way, this is for Big Happy Planner. And she uses vertical. But I know that like, okay, I thought about doing the rain part all the way to here. And then like May, all of a sudden flowers. But I also kind of like the idea of like half is going to be rainy and half is flowers. So I think I'm going to go with that, even though, of course, we have these two days, but um, that just kind of makes sense to me. So I have some washi tapes here. This one just reminded me of rain. I, I actually don't know where I got this. This is very old, but I thought it was kind of rain-like, don't you think? So I thought it'd be fun to use here. And I think what I'm gonna do is just like put it all the way across at the top here. I kind of have a vision for this spread, but I also kind of don't, so I'm not sure where this is gonna go, but we're just gonna wing it. I think I might bring in some clouds too. I don't know. So, um, this half, yeah, rain, sun, or rain, flowers, I should say. And I think that's gonna be okay. This is an archer and an olive. Um, I think I'm gonna bring it all the way down, should I? Or maybe here. I think I'm gonna put it down at the bottom. This is an archer and olive washi tape. And it's so cute. It's like flowery and pretty. And I thought I'd try to bring in like these kind of colors to this side. So we'll see if I can manage it. All right. And I will link um, the Arthur, Archer and Olive. I will um, link it in the description box. It is an affiliate link. I would appreciate it if you use that. This one, like I said, I don't remember where I got it, but any old like um, blue polka dot one would do, I guess. I don't really know where I'm going with this. This is a little um, scary for me for some reason because I don't really have a true vision, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm whiting out this note over here because I don't like it. I never like that note, stupid note. Don't usually like that, but okay. I mean, never. So obviously I'm going to use these like rainy. We're going to bring it. So this side's going to be totally different colors than that side. I don't know how this is going to look. Oh no. Um, but we're gonna start with the rainy side and then adjust, okay? So then I'm gonna figure out the other side. So maybe I I just think that's better if I make it work that way, right? So over here, we're gonna use umbrellas. We're gonna use boots. I think I'll start with an umbrella right there to cover up that little note part. Okay, cute already. Um. And maybe there's other stickers in here that are rain-like. I, I don't know. I thought about putting the boots down here, but I might change my mind. In fact, let's put the boots here. Oh my gosh. I love yellow so much. Oh, look at this one. But it's got that, the same boots. Do I want to use it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I could have used the, this. That's rainy too. It kind of reminds me of, of this a little bit, but I think I'm going to stick with this commit to it. I think I'm going to cut this out behind it just in case it, in case, in case it shows through. Um, yeah. Am I getting weird already? We just started this video. Getting weird already. What are you going to do? Um, here's an umbrella one, but I didn't really want to bring in that color. Interesting. 
I could bring in this one. This is like, and but that that's more boots. Do we really need all those boots? No. But I could cut it and bring in, because that's like kind of that color, right? And I think there's other color in here like that. Let's do it. I mean, I like the boots. They're cute, but it doesn't, I don't want three pairs of the same boots, you know? I wish there were some going the other way. Did I miss that? Maybe there was. Oh, I bet you there is. Wait. Um, in the other, I have two of those books. I probably used some boots before. I bet you there is. Or I might have used these too. I don't know. Oh my gosh, there is. Okay. But I kind of like them in that corner. I could put them that way in that corner. I mean, I don't have to do that. I just feel like it'd be better if it wasn't this. But like, I kind of want them facing towards the spread. Ugh. Um, let's put this down first. We're going to throw this up here. I don't really know why, but that's what we're doing. So let's take the boots off. Let's take them off and try the other ones. I don't know if I'm going to like them. Undo, undo it, undo it. Don't be scared. It's Okay. If it was water on there, you'd have to be scared. This doesn't warp your page at all. Grab another pair of boots, go in the other direction. Ideally, what I should have done is put this in that corner and that over there, but I didn't. So I'm gonna put these over here. I'm just gonna put them here. I just feel like it looks better if it's going the other direction so it's not so matchy, right? I'm not sure if that's true, but we're going to just um, go with that theory. Okay. Um, so I might even take this one and do the same thing that I did to this because there are like light colors in there as well. So it does kind of pull that in. That's good. I'll just throw it down here. I don't know. Just winging it that this bird would be cute like um paired with like a box there right i feel like that would be cute although it's right next to that one why not let's throw it down also maybe some yellow because we've got we've got that um the yellow boots so i feel as though yellow is needed not a lot maybe not a lot Hmm. Maybe that one. So I think I'm going to go back to that today box that's yellow. Because I want like a longer box. This is pretty long though. I don't know. Iffy. It's iffy. Very slightly off, but God, it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me. Sorry. Let's try again. It's hard to match it up with that, you know. But I'm going to try and try to make it straight at the same time. That's better. It's looking um scrambled, random. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I need to bring some more washi down here too. Um, but let's bring in some lines. And I'm gonna, this is something I don't ever do. I don't ever do like one side and then the other side when I'm creating spreads. So if you're, if this is like the first video you're watching, um, it's not how I usually do things. Some people do day by day. Like, I don't know how people do that. I can't possibly do that. But some people plan and they're like, okay, I'm going to put everything on Monday. Then I'm going to put everything on Tuesday. And like, it hurts my brain. Because if I did that, then it wouldn't be balanced by the end of the week. Because if I put something here, I usually have to put it here. If I put it here, I usually have to put it there. Color, 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 color. Um, this is a challenge for me. Thank you, Cindy. No, I appreciate a challenge. But it's a challenge for me because I'm doing one side and then I'm doing the other side and I still have to balance everything and it's going to be different colors. 
it's going to be tricky, I feel like, but hopefully it won't be like uh, an hour and a half long. <laughs> I better stop talking so it's not an hour and a half long. Just saying, it's, um, I don't want it to get crazy like that. Nobody has time to sit and listen to me for an hour. Uh, well, I guess they do, but I mean more than an hour. This will be at least an hour. I promise you that. Okay, let's put some lines down here. I really like this color combo. It's weird. I mean, in a good way. I've never done this com color combo. I've done purple and yellow, and I've done teal and yellow, but I've never done purple, teal, and yellow. I think it's wild. I love it. So what else are we going to put over here so it's not so scrambled? Um, maybe I want to move that over or move this. Move that up, maybe, right? That might make it less jumbled for me. I don't know that that's true. I also could layer that, but we've got today there. So I don't know if that's going to work out. Um, let's move it like up though, like here. A little crooked guys. Bear with me. Sometimes in my regular videos, I cut out that stuff that's like, it's a little crooked and cut it out while I fix it. And you never know. I don't usually do that, but sometimes. I feel like that looks a little bit better. Um, I would feel more comfortable if it was layered on top of that, but I, there's not much I can do about that, I don't think, unless I layer it like right up to the today, but I don't think I need to. All right, so we're gonna work on these areas here. We've got enough boxes going on here. Um, there's a box here, so, um, you know, I, I'm going to leave a little bit of white space, but also maybe have a little fun with it, too. So, um, maybe some, like, rain stuff. Like, what if I put cloud, like, what if I doodle a cloud? This is a tool pencil. These are badass, in case you're wondering. Um, I really like these. They're grippy and they write really good. They're not like, um, they don't write too dark and they're easy to, they, they race well. So I use them in, um, in my bullet journal. Okay. I'm just going to do like a cloud in the corner. I don't know. That's a bad corner cloud. Wait, where's my eraser? This one's all done dunsies i'll use this one i never use this pinky actually i kind of like it i haven't used that in a long time i usually use the white ones but sometimes they get like gummed up a little hmm that looks better i like how i brought that over there okay so then we just, we're going to do like raindrops from there. Okay. A little bit. I think that's good. And then maybe like a quote there, right? Okay. So let's take, um, I don't even know if I want black. Yeah, I probably want black. All right. Let's just use this, um, 0.38 Muji and trace this rainy cloud. I'm wondering if I should put a face on the cloud or no face. Like, faces are so fun. I'll do it in pencil first in case it looks bad. So. <laughs> Actually, it's raining, though. Rainy Cloud may not be smiling. A rainy cloud may maybe doing like a a meh face, but I don't want that in her planner. I don't know. Let's leave it blank for now, and we'll just do um, some big old drops. Okay. Well, that one looks weird. That looks like a drop of blood. Um, 
instead of the face, I could put like little little puffs inside. Like, let's do that. Like little. I don't know. That looks a little weird though. Looks like an upside down face, but we're gonna leave it there. Okay, so down here, um, yes, yeah, like a quote. I guess. Splash in puddles. We could put it right near the boots. Either that or that's these are too big, I feel like. But no rain, no flowers really makes sense, right? Let me just see how this would fit. We can also put it in the sidebar, actually. We can put it over there. Or we could put it over here. Let's look at that other one. We could also put that there or here. I think what I think I'm gonna do this. No rain, no flowers. And then splash in puddles. Um Yeah, we're not doing that bumble. I just played with her for a very, very long time to really tire her out so that I could film. So um I will be pretty upset with her. Because that was about a half an hour ago. I will be pretty upset with her if she starts in with me. <laughs> Um, where's that washi tape that I just had? Um, losing my marbles. I just had it. Here it is. Let's just put a little more down here just to make it fun. And Cindy, if you need more room to write, you can certainly take off this washi tape down here. I'm just being goofy. Um, I feel like with the big though, there's so much room to write that I think you'll be okay, but in case you're not. Okay, um, over here we're gonna do a long box sticker. So let us check out what is in the spring sticker book. I don't think there's any really long ones in here though. That's the only thing. I like to use those like extra long ones in the sidebar. We might have to break out. Oh wait, there's one, but it's a bike. I can, oh, I hate when Happy Planner um, puts this, I, I should, I'm sorry, Happy Planner, if you're watching, I don't mean to complain. You know, I love 99% of your products so much, so much. But one thing that bothers me is when you have these long box stickers and like, I love the pictures in them and they're so cute, but then like that bike goes into there a little bit. And some of us like to um, make the boxes smaller, or if that doesn't match, we want to cut that out, but we can't because I can't cut this and reattach it because it has like the black on it. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but I also feel like it should be this one of these colors for the long box sticker though. Okay. That's kind of greenish though. Look at that. Hmm, compared to like these, it's not the right color, but I could color it with the Archer and Olive pens um, if I have the right color in that. Um, here's my acrylographs. I love them. It may exist, but it doesn't exist in um, my brain right now, so I don't know where it is. And also, it doesn't look like any of these colors are really going to be the color that I need. So, instead of a long box sticker... And again, I could look in other books and stuff and find it. I know that there are some, obviously there's turquoise in a lot of boxes, but I'm being a little lazy and not wanting to search. So I'm gonna take this box sticker, put it here. That's gonna be my note to Cindy. And then we're gonna do something else over here and I'm not sure what that is. Um, probably something in this color. Let's go back in the spring book. We can maybe find a box in that color, but that has flowers. I didn't want to put any flowers on this side. I want it to be like really rainy. I would use this. Let me put this down here and we'll find something else to go between those two. I don't know what. What? <laughs> something yellow? Let the beauty of what you love be what you do. Okay. Um, change of plans. We're taking this boy off. 
um, I'm putting this one here. And I know now that the yellow is not balanced. That's the thing. Oh, wait, what if we make April yellow? Can we do that? I mean, I know we can, but how? I do have a yellow acrylograph pen, just saying. Not for writing over April, but, ooh, wait. Okay. My brain's churning. The wheels are turning. Journaling sticker book has months, I think, that you can fill in. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we are going to put this over that and color it. Wait. Maybe I should have, like, waited that out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to move it up slightly, and we're going to color that in yellow. Let me get the acrylograph pens again. I don't have to use the acrylographs, but I'm going to, um, because it's like, I can fill it in, you know? So it's like not, I don't have to go over any color, but I, but I know that there's like the right color yellow in here. Wait, it's not here though. Cause I'm, I've been using it this week. Um, that's pretty close, right? I feel like that's pretty good. Yes. Okay. So. I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm gonna, actually this is a three millimeter, I need the 0.7. All right, I'm gonna find that and color that in yellow just because, oh, here it is, because um, I need to get my head close to the page. Okay, okay, so wait, that's what it looks like and I think it's cute, it's not perfect, but it brings in the yellow and there should still be yellow here, but it's okay, I don't, I don't mind that. I love this side, that is so cute, right? So now let's focus on this side. It's gonna be like two separate spreads, which I think is kind of a cool idea. I think I've done that maybe once before with like a spring to summer, I mean, um, summer to fall theme maybe. I was gonna use the pressed florals, but the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking um, I'd rather use this because it's like brighter. I've never used, um, this is the Flower Power Mega Sticker Book. I've never used like these in it. Um, so I thought I'd maybe just bring in some bright florals here. And I don't know that I'm gonna bring in individual flowers. Like I thought I was going to, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, these would be kind of cool to do on their own. I don't know. I really love this sticker though. So I think this side's gonna be more focused on like pinks and light blue. I don't know. I'm just gonna try. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to draw a sun over here, I guess. That'll be part of it. And I really want this this Archer and Olive washi tape to match because I really like it and I want to keep it there. But I don't know that it's going to match and I, I really hope that it does. But let me just see. So like, I feel like that does. But the other stuff, I don't know. Let me just look at the rest of this. Um, I was also thought about these maybe little these ones I mean that maybe matches better with this right it's so confusing there's also the um the layered florals book let's look at that one too I hardly ever pull this one out I mean I have a lot <laughs> what's that doing there I have a lot of floral sticker books um that are all kind of different but Oh, wait, that's like these. That is, anyway. I guess let's just try it. I mean, the worst that can happen is I'll need to pull it up, you know? Um, let's try it and just see. And I, I kind of like the idea of it pulling in some colors from the side of the page, but also adding in pinks. I guess let's start with that one and maybe layer a couple boxes with it. I don't know. Cindy's always challenging me in a good way. <laughs> right, Cindy? I feel like you always challenge me and I like it. I do like it. It just is like, sometimes I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. Maybe I need to rethink the washi. I have other floral washi tapes. Um, so I have this one, which would match the colors over there. That's kind of pretty. 
but I don't necessarily want to like match the colors. I want it to be a completely different spread. I want it to coordinate. All right, we will keep that out. Why do I have these on my hands? All right, wait. I'm sorry, I'm a little spazzy today. Can you tell? I feel like you guys can always pick up my moods. <laughs> like, you know, this one too is pretty, but this feels more like um, late summer to me, even though it's so pretty, isn't it? Wait, let me open it and just see. I've never used this one. But this doesn't feel right. Like I want it to feel vibrant and bright and like fun flowers. I need the right flower vibe. This one's not right. It's too soft and um, pretty. I want it to be fun and vibrant. Um, whimsical, dare I say. All right, let me pull this off. Sorry, Archer and Olive. Um, I really do like this washi tape. I'll link this in the description though. I think it's so pretty. I still might use it, I don't, I'm not sure. We'll put that to the side and we'll bring this down. Just to try it. I got this one at the washi tape shop and I will link that as well. So I like to link things even though, like even if I don't use it in the spread, if I mention it or show it, I kind of like to link it because some people are like, wait, you didn't use that washi, but you, um, that's so, that feels like so much. I think I'm going to need to like only use half of that or something. And put half like up top, you know, I just don't want it to be like too overpowering because it's like much darker than what's going on on the other side. Um, so yeah, I like to link stuff anyway, because you guys, um, always ask, <laughs> which I, you know, I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, maybe if I just put it here, I don't know, just to sort of break it up. I've never done that before. It's unheard of. All right. So let's get back to business here. Now that that's down, I think I'm going to use some of these. So we're going to bring in purples and we're going to bring in, I could really do the same colors over here as here, but it would be kind of um, tricky to do so. However, look, it's like close, right? Let's throw this here. I don't know. It's a lot of busy, a lot of busy. No, I don't think I can do that. It's too it's overall just too busy. I think the washi tape is throwing me. If you're one of those people that hate the indecisive videos, you're gonna be, you're probably like, oh my God, what's her problem? What's she doing? I'm taking it off though. I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna, I think, um, There's no law that says I have to use washi tape on this side, but maybe there's like some strip, strip washi here. Instead of like washi tape, I could do like a strip of flowers, right? These are these flowers. I could do like, just to make my own washi tape. I'm making my own washi tape. Nobody's gonna stop me. We don't, there's no law that says I have to have washi on both sides, honestly. I do wanna use this, I think it's pretty. Let's just put it up here. But I also wanna bring in some bright pink now. All right, I'm going back to the pressed florals book. I'm going to try to combine the, these boxes with like some of the things from this book. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, but I want to try it. Also, like a couple of just like a couple of these fun decorative things would be nice. Like this really matches like all that's going on here. I feel like it says embrace today and it's beautiful. So let's put it down. Um, where though? Well, we're just going to stick it there to start. And we might layer that with a box. So 
Let's take this long pink box sticker and just put it down. I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? Like, I don't have to know. It is okay. And I know Cindy and she's so nice and she's going to love it no matter what, no matter if it's a little strange or weird. And, um, and that's okay. I think I'm going to cover that though, because that, those press florals like don't really, now that I'm thinking about it, those press florals really don't go. Um, Let's go back to this book again. Like, I just know that she's going to she's gonna be amused by it, if anything, you know. Um, and it's not going to look bad. It's just going to be different. This is my convincing myself of this, all right? Actually, let me wait out this area. I was going to leave these here, but now I'm thinking, no. And I know that was a reason for me grabbing the Breast Florals book to begin with. I don't know. Um, anyway, I guess my point for being indecisive and for all of that is just to show you, look, we don't always have it all together. We don't always know what to do, but it's fun trying it. It's fun just like doing different things. So just like have fun with it. And um, if you hate it, there's always next week. You know, it's it's not the end of the world. People sometimes take their planners way too seriously. And I know sometimes I do, but like I'm doing it for a living and I'm also doing it for other people. And that's why I do that. But with my own planner, if I wasn't on YouTube with my own planner, like I love a good spread and like I will reposition stuff. But at the end of the day, like if I don't think it's like the best thing ever, I don't really care because I'll just write in it this week. It's going to look fun. And then next week I'll change it. Right. And, um, and like learn lessons every week in your planner. I don't know. I just think it's fun and, um, and just don't stress. Try not to stress so much. Don't stress as much as me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to put lines there. That, that's where the lines are going to go. All right. Um, so we've obviously got like a light pink and blue and purple thing going on here with some yellow thrown in. So maybe we see that yellow so different from that yellow that I don't know if I want to pull that in. I guess I am back to this one. Seen better days, this sticker. Hey, we're we're getting there. I know it's a weird situation we've got going on, but don't worry, I'll fix that. So we've got this little washi down here. Let's make some more of that washi or whatever we're calling it. We are gonna bring in. Let's see, this guy. Do I really want it up there though? Maybe I want it right here. Maybe that's what I want to do. We'll put another one of the pinkies. And then another one of the yellows, actually not in that particular order though, because that's the order that's down there. We want to bring in a purple and a yellow and we'll do it like this. Okay. It actually looks really cute so far. Um, I'm going to do what I never do and put some lines in like here before I do the rest of it. I don't know why. I just feel like I, I want the lines to go here and I just want to know where they are and how the rest looks with them there. So... That's what I'm doing. Okay, so that looks actually really cute. And we're gonna continue this color scheme. Now I feel better now that I have a color scheme because sometimes it's all over the place, right? So I feel better now that I know what colors I'm working with here. And that's what now I'm gonna search for. So let's go back into, I guess the Press Florals book and maybe get some more of those boxes in these colors because or at least another one in this color because it's going to be the same as that one there's some purple here too but i don't think i want to go in that direction let's get another one this color and we're going to cover this again do i want like a long maybe a long one Okay, so we're gonna white this out and 
put something else there. Put that one there and a yellow. Except I can't really. All right. Not perfect, but not too bad. Okay. I want another color, this box, right? Where did I find that box? I think that was in the layered florals book. I'm, oh, this one. And I, I'm using a ton of books here, and I know that. I will list them all in the description box as long as I remember all of them. Okay, well, at least there's this one. Not ideal. I wanted a bigger one than that, but we'll, we'll go with this. And we will put it somewhere. <laughs> we'll put it somewhere. Um, down here. Why not? Okay, but the problem is I kind of wanted to put lines there, so let's do that first. Okay. Oh, but I put lines there. Well, and now you got two lines next to each other. I never do that. See, I am a little bit messed up because of the way I'm doing this. I'm doing this one, then this one. So it is kind of messy. Not messy, but like in my brain. Okay, so I wonder if this matches because I just love this so much. I mean, I know it's different kinds of flowers, but it's kind of cute, isn't it? I don't know. It's definitely different kinds of flowers, though, because like these are all sort of the same. And then we have these. I'm going to put this down and just see what I can do with it because I think it's so cute. I mean, I could leave it like that. It's not bad. I just really always kind of like to match this, the vibe, really, but it's it's kind of cute, actually. Dare I leave it? Dare I take a chance and have different kind of flowers right there? You know what? Sure. Let's take that chance. Um, let's look at it all together. Oh, maybe a quote over here, but now I'm like running out of room. Because there's black over here. I feel like there needs to be maybe black quotes on that side. But maybe not. Maybe it's not necessary. Oh, sorry. Um, pick flowers. You know what? I don't think I'm going to bring black on on this side because this is dark and rainy. Oh, wait, I didn't draw the sun, though. I didn't draw the sun. I don't think I need quote on this side. I'm liking the delicate look of this. Maybe just a regular sun. Oh, that is not a perfect circle. <laughs> you know what? The sun's getting a smiley face. Of course. All right. I think it's cute. I think it's a cute spread. It was a struggle, Cindy. Oh my gosh, was it a struggle. You always challenge me and I always appreciate it. So I really do like the way it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we're gonna do Christy's spread next. On to Christy's spread. Okay, so Christy wants a big happy planner spread for the week of April 26th through, bleh, through May 2nd. However, I know that says September and October. We're gonna wait that out because I stole this out of a future planner because the dates, ma the dates matched up, but it was September because I couldn't, I don't know. I, I lost a planner. I feel like I lost a planner. I thought I had another big happy planner for this year, but I wasn't able to find it. So that's okay. This is better anyway, because these pages are great because they've got nothing there except dots. So I'm going to stamp. Um, so I got these stamps from Archer and Olive. I like their stamps a lot, and these ones have flowers. Oh, I forgot to tell you Christy's theme. So Christy decided she wanted a floral theme for her birthday week, and her birthday is Wednesday. So we are going to bring in some flowers, and I thought it would be fun to use some of these stamps for a change. And I really like these two, so I'm going to create little areas of these flowers, and then I'm going to color them in. Um, and then we're going to go from there. So let me start with the big one here. 
actually I'm gonna get another stamp block because I kind of want both of them going at the same time so that I can sort of situate them I don't know if you understood what I meant you probably didn't but you know what it doesn't matter we're just gonna get another block here and go forward I know this block is very very big for this tiny little flower but that's what I'm using right now because that was the first one I saw okay um so I have some VersaFine ink here which I have heard is the best um oh wait let me get my stamp backing pad because I'm fancy so I've got this and I'm gonna stamp on top of this this thing is so big that I might have to like cut it in half because I don't know why I don't know why I would need it that big um but I didn't do that before this so we're just gonna go with that okay so the first one I'm just gonna take and get some ink on my stamp okay and then we're just gonna start I think what I'm gonna do is create like a triangular little area of flowers here I don't know how it's gonna look but let's just try it and see oh that first one is not a good stamp <laughs> the stamp is good the stamper is not good <laughs> I was trying what somebody told me last time I put out a stamping video which is to like hold it down more on the page oh no this is too big for this little thing um don't come after me stamping queens uh I know that I don't stamp well I know that I do things wrong and you know what I'm okay with that also I do know that I just said I was going to use this and I didn't I know you're screaming at your your um, phones, your computers, and your TVs right now. But I never claimed I wasn't absent-minded, even though this big thing was sitting right in front of me. So we're just going to keep going, though, and pretend that didn't happen, okay? So let me put this down. That one looks better. I mean, not ideal, right? But I'm a new stamper. I am a new stamper. Okay. I don't quite know what I'm doing with this pattern here, though. I kind of pictured it differently, but <laughs> we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going because that's all we can do. And you know what? It's all right. It's all right. Don't, don't worry. It'll all work out in the end. Right, Bumble? I do like this pad though. It does make a difference, I will say. Again, I know I'm not doing this right. But as long as it turns out looking okay, I don't care. Um, you know, this one is, I'm not happy with that one at all. This one looks the best, I feel like. Okay, I'm getting better. I should have practiced a little bit. Sorry. Sorry, Christy. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little bit of a weird cluster, right? Um, hmm. I could put another one there, but then it's sort of like... Maybe I put another one here. Well, it's kind of um, haphazard, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. So we'll set that aside for a second. And we're gonna come back. And I got ink on my, not my spread, Christy's spread. Sorry, Christy, we will take care of that. This is too, I really should not be using this block apparently. This block is way too big for the stamp. So I understand that. Um, but we're going to keep doing it, though. Because <laughs> we're just going to keep doing that mistake. <laughs> I know. I know. This is probably like only the third time I've ever stamped, so... I think I'm not doing so bad for my third try. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's look at it. 
Oh, this looks so bad compared to those, right? I got better as I went along. Man. All right. Well, the flowers are pretty. The flowers are very pretty. It's just um, my stamping ability is not so beautiful. I'm going to do one more. Okay. All right. We will clean these in a little bit. Actually, let me go wash my hands. Okay. Anyway, I will link this um, set of stamps for you in the description box because I really do like the stamps. It's just I need some practice. Um, and it's okay. We all could use practice at stuff like that. Okay, but um, such a cute stamp set. So that is called the spring stamp set, which is perfect because it's spring. All right, let's move this big bad boy out of the way and get started on the rest of the spread. I am going to color in these flower these flowers. I just don't know what colors yet. I also know that these are very bunched up and these are very spread out, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Flowers in nature are all over the place, so I think we're okay. Ooh, we could bring yellow in. You know I love that. Let's bring yellow in. So I'll just do a regular spread around those flowers and then I will go back in and add in the colors to the flowers that match the rest of the spread, okay? I'll probably be using colored pencils, I think. So let's look at that yellow sticker again. Choose joy. We are choosing joy today and every day, and we're gonna use it. And I think that might have been the second one that I have, and I think I'm giving it to you, Christy, because I want you to choose joy on your birthday. Um, I don't wanna take up too much of your spread, but this is a big happy planner after all, so we can kinda of take up a bunch. This is a big sticker, though. I could put it down here. Maybe I should put it on days that don't have any of that going on, right? So maybe I put it here or here. Let's put it here. Okay, so right away we're definitely bringing in yellow to this spread. Okay. The question is what other color? But let's start with um, a few yellow boxes. You do yellow and purple, it's always fun. Yellow and light blue, yellow and green. It would kind of be fun to do all of these flowers one color and all of these flowers another color, wouldn't it? Hmm, now my brain's going around and I'm wondering, what if we did that? Oh, look at these. These are so pretty. I've been wanting to use those too. Let's use these. Go see Allie. Let's start with this, okay? Okay. Not that you can tell me not to. I mean, you can, but I'm not going to listen. I like this, but I don't like it as much as the... Maybe I bring in some peach. I don't usually combine peach with yellow, though. That's the problem. Doesn't mean I can't. Like, I really like this sticker, but... Maybe I put it up here. And then use something else for over there. I'm trying to stick to the yellow and blue, but I don't know why. I should probably not try to stick to that, because I think it's going to mess me up. Um, let's bring in purple. That says choose joy and that says choose to shine. I'm thinking not both, right? Let's, let's do some purple. We'll put a blue one here. 
I could bring this purple on the other side of the page. I could do that. Put it right up to it, maybe. Hmm, okay. So, so this is what I do. I start putting colors down and then I, I decide when to stop with the color. So now we've got a color scheme that I've never used before. We've got a light blue, we have a purple, and we have a yellow. I don't think I've ever done that. We also have a peach, but I don't know that we're going to go in that direction. So I think I want to try to keep it to those colors now. I could use this, but it's a little bit different than this. It's more like turquoise. Um, so like when I started, I didn't know what colors I was going to be putting there. Now I do. Now I do. We can also bring in some light purple. Um, we could. So I don't know, in case you're like wondering how things develop, that's how they develop. This is her birthday. Oh no. Okay. Um, she said not necessarily birthday theme, so I'm not going to do a birthday theme, but maybe I should bring in some balloons or something. So I'm going to hold off on this day for just a minute or so. Let's bring some more yellow into that side. It needs more yellow. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. We could also bring in some washi tape. I don't like that there. We could definitely bring in some washi, just saying. That's a possibility. Bumble's very busy right now. I do like this too. I could maybe combine this with like a box, right? Like a light blue or a yellow box. Let's combine it with a yellow box. Why not? Let's be a little crazy. Like my dog. I'm thinking this one, I am going to cover that part up in some way. So let's, um, let's throw it down here. I don't know. Putting it sideways for just like something different, okay? We're gonna put this here. This is a box for Friday. And then we're gonna cover that up with something. What? I have no idea. Or we could leave it. Um, maybe. Let's put in some lines. Did you know I was gonna say that just then? You might, you might have known I was gonna say that. If you watch me a lot. I'm pretty predictable, I think. Not always though, sometimes I surprise you. But usually I'm pretty I'm pretty predictable. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I want to start thinking about din din. What should I have for dinner, you guys? Tell me, YouTube, what should I have for dinner? I thought I was gonna be done. So I'm doing these custom spreads and I'm trying to do them all in about two days. And this is my fourth one today, and I thought for sure I'd have like eight of them done by now. <laughs> I always underestimate the amount of time it takes every single time. Sorry guys, she got that new squeaky ball set for her birthday and they didn't lose a squeaker yet. So if your dogs are going crazy, sorry about that. This is looking really cute so far, I will say. We need some light blue right there. Obvi. Let's get this one that has the purple in there. We don't have to do a box. There's a box up there, but um, it's Christy's birthday, so maybe she wants two boxes. Okay, uh, or, well, or we could have done like a little quote. Wait, let's look in the back for quotes. Yeah, we're not doing that. No. Go find another hobby. This one's mine. 
about throwing in some of these? That would be fun. Oh, wait. Was I going to bring in washi tape? Should I? I don't think it needs it, really. Honestly. I don't think it needs it. Let's bring in a few of these. I think they're cute. Um, I don't know where, though. Right here. Okay. Cheery. I don't know what I'm going to do in the sidebar. Don't even ask me that. I can put some flowers in there. Um, yeah, I don't know. But there is that... Uh, you know what? I feel like instead of this, it just doesn't feel like this should be there. What if we put this there? But that's so dark, actually. No. Maybe, maybe I'll leave that there. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. So I thought about putting Just Bloom right here, but it's pretty big. I could cover that up with like a yellow one. I don't know. I don't know that I need to cover that up though. I mean, it's it's pretty unobtrusive, right? Like I, I don't think it's it's not in your face. Hmm. Interesting. What if I put some flowers? over here. I don't know. I think this video is going to be like two hours long. It's a, bit, it's a strong possibility. Just saying. I'm taking this other purple one. I'm going to put it like this, but wait, should I? Because I was going to put like a little washy line or something there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll just bring, I just didn't want them to be like the same size. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit and cut it off the end. That's very busy combined with these. That might be a mistake. Let me take this guy off. And instead, do you know where I'm going to put it? And put it here. That was a little quiz for you. I feel like a like a kindergarten teacher. Where do you think it should go, class? Where am I gonna put it? Take your guesses. Well, here it is, right here in the corner. Okay. Um, that's weird. I don't know if I like that. Um, hmm. This one maybe needs to move over a little if that's gonna stay there. I didn't put it in the in the center for a reason, just so you know. I was trying not to. Alright, it's not so bad. It's just kinda odd that they're both like down here, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Maybe we just pull it in somewhere else as well. Maybe we take like one of these and put it like up here, right? You know what I mean? It's gonna pull in that flower situation down there. Um That kind of works, I think. Okay. Look, we can use some of these. It says to do. It's like the right colors. Let's put it up here. Let's put this in the sidebar. I also need like a box to write a note to Christian. So maybe a yellow one would be best. Uh oh, is it all? You know what? Maybe I'll take that off. No, Bumble. Go see Allie. Is that better? Probably. This underneath it. Okay, I know that's pink there. I'm trying to decide if I should just. Oh, that's crooked too. Bumble, bumble. Bump. 
this dog. It's crooked. Bumble, go see Ali. Okay, let's look at it now. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, right? I think we need some balloons or something or like happy birthday or something on the 28th. So let me pause and just take a look at what I've got. In the Celebrate sticker book, there's these little cakes. And I thought I'd just put one here. And um, and then maybe, maybe I'll write happy birthday to Christy there. Um, I saw balloons and stuff, but I really like the spread and I feel like it was um, kind of taken away from the floral thing. I don't know. I'll probably like write, maybe I'll do it right now, actually, while you guys are here. Um, so I'm just going to take a Muji 0.38 and I'll write happy. Okay, and then um, I want it to be delicate because this is a delicate spread aside from like that flower, right? <laughs> um, so let's get a, maybe a 0.5. So this is a 0.3 Muji and we'll get the 0.5 Muji. That is like just a little bit thicker um, than that one. I'm just gonna write birthday in like kind of a fun way. Uh oh, I'm, I gotta make it a little bit bigger so it'll fit all the way across. That Y is out of control. Okay, so happy birthday to Christy. Okay, so I'll write her a note there. We do, do still need to put September at the top. I mean, not September, April at the top and we need to color in the flowers. So let's put April up there. Use this one. All right. Now I have to once again, turn off the camera because I want to pick the colors for these flowers. You know what? I could leave them black and white. You guys, it might be pretty if I did. Um, but I think I'm going to color them in. Okay. So these are my Arteza colored pencils. And there may be a few Prismacolors in here by accident, but I try to keep these together. So I like Arteza products a lot and the colored pencils are pretty good. They are um, pretty, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They put, they're pigmented. They put a lot of color on the page um, and I like them. They are kind of comparable to the Prismacolors. They're not um, as high end as the Prismacolors, but they are really good and a lot cheaper. So I like to use these and I have a lot more colors in these than I do the Prismacolor because they are cheaper. Um, this one I've obviously used a lot. I'm going to have to sharpen that, but I'm trying to find the colors that are in here. And I think instead of doing what I thought, which is like putting, actually this one looks a little too bright, um, which is putting um, like making some purple and some yellow or something. I'm going to like sort of combine it all together. That's a little too dark though. I'm gonna combine it and like do a little of each color in the flowers, I think. Uh, none of these purples are exactly what I want. What's the problem? There's this one too, what is this one? Oh, that's probably the one I want because that's the one I've used a lot. We'll sharpen that one and see. And then um, blue, I need a light blue. I may have light blue in a Prisma color. In fact, I think I know I do. So these are the Prisma colors and I found some art. Oh, there's another Arteza one. I found a bunch of Arteza ones in here. So what you see in here is not all the Arteza ones that I have. I think they got kind of mixed up a little bit, um, but I did find a couple of light blues in the Prisma color. I was trying to find like this blue, but I'm not able, maybe, maybe this one, 
No, I don't think so. No, um, I wasn't really able to find that exact color. So we're gonna mix some light blue, some purple, maybe two types of purple, and then some yellow, and hope for the best, I guess. Um, so hang tight, and you can just watch me color. And by the way, I can't believe I get paid to color for a living. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos because I get paid to color and and like that's like just the coolest thing in the world and like my um 10 year old self would have been like shocked and so excited about this so thank you. I just wanted to stop a second and explain to you what I'm doing here. Um, so while I'm coloring, coloring these in, I'm also using this colorless blender pencil by Prismacolor. And I'll put like a lot of color on one spot and then either no color on the other spot or another, um, another color completely. And then you can blend it together. So here I blended without another color there and it kind of um, blends into the white a little bit more and then like here or here you can see I blended these out into the color um, and blend this one yet so I'll just show you so if you just kind of move that around it softens the color there and still makes it look cool um, so I like to use this a lot when I'm doing colored pencil because I just think it's it's just so it makes it look more professional. And also what you can do with this too, is you can take the colorless blender, um, like, and if you look at this here, it's not like there's some white spots and stuff. It's not perfect. It might be a little streaky. So you can take it and go over the color, like the same color completely. And it smooths out the color and makes it more uniform throughout the whole thing. Do you see the difference? I don't know if you can tell the difference. It wasn't that bad, but... Um, but yeah, I like to use that. Um, like I'll probably use it here because this got, this got a little bit streaky looking, not, not great. So I can go in and kind of, it just spreads the color into the places that the color isn't there so that it doesn't look so scratchy and it looks smoother. So I really love these. I love using these. Um, so I will link this in the description for you, but Anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I think it's turning out really, really cute. So we're just gonna keep going. Okay, that took a very long time, a very long time. But I like how they turned out. So I will show you up close. That is what they look like. Okay, and then this one, this side's better. Because I got better as I went along because I knew like what more to do. But I just combined a bunch of those colors together. And also because the, these Obviously these stamps are not stamped as well as these stamps, I know. Um, but I really like it. I think it's kind of cool, right? I mean, it's different. And I hope that you like it too, Christy. And happy birthday. I hope this was a nice birthday week spread for you. Okay, that is all. This video took a very, very, very long time, but um, worth it in the end. I love both the spreads and I hope you guys like them too. Let me know in the comments which one you like best. And I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.